So in this video I will be showing you guys how to play Half-Life on your PSP. So this works on any PSP that has custom firmware installed. For this video I will be testing this out on my PSP Go. Now this is pretty much the game, it works really well. I think on the PSP Go you can get about 50 frames per second. I don't know what it's like on the PSP 3000, might be even better and it's probably worse on the PSP 1000. But all you want to do is go and find USB connection because we need to connect this on our computer. Now, if you have a PS Vita, there is actually a Half-Life you can play on that. So I'll link that video in the description. I uploaded it, I think, last year. And um, yeah, there's another way to play Half-Life on the PS Vita if you use that over the PSP. What we're going to do, we're going to go to USB connection. If you're wondering why mine says FTP, it's just this weird theme. So we're going to press X on this. Now we're just going to quickly connect our PSP to our computer. And I will show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, so over on your computer, there's actually four parts to this. I think because it's pretty old, as you can see, it was uploaded in 2012. So they obviously just decided to upload it in parts. Um, but we've got four of them and they're all hosted on Mediafire. So all you do is just click the green download button, obviously. And um, so there's part one, part two, part three, and part four. Once you have downloaded all of these, they should be in your downloads folder. So what you can do is just go to your downloads folder and find them. So here you go, I've got parts one to four. I downloaded them already just to save time. and um, what you actually want to do is select all of them and if you have WinRAR or 7-zip or if you have some kind of zip file software just select all of them right click and then just select extract here it's then just going to extract them all into one folder so we've just got to wait um, I don't know how long this takes maybe just a few minutes so I'll just wait until this is done and then I'll be back Alright, so once it's done, it's going to give us two folders. We've got the normal version and we've got the slim version. Now, the slim version is for the PSP 2000, 3000, PSP Go and the PSP 1000E. And then we've also got the fat version, which is for the PSP 1000 models. So you guys can choose if you're fat or slim. I have got a slim um, PSP. Well, I've got a PSP Go, so I'm going to go for the slim version. So um, just select whichever one you want. I'm going to go for slim, PSP slim. Um, and this is what we need to copy across. We need to copy across the whole PSP folder. So you can just right click, copy, go onto your PSP on the root, right click and paste. It's as simple as that. I've actually already got this. Um, but I'm just going to replace it, I guess. And um, yeah, there you go. Now you've just got to wait for this to copy across and it's going to copy all of the files you need. And there you go. That is literally it for the PC. You just have to copy it across. And if you go into your PSP game folder, you should actually be able to find it in here. I'm pretty sure it's called Half-Life. Let me just look for it real quick. Okay, so it's this one here. So it's called HL. And then if you go into this, um, you can find you've got all the files and stuff. And um, yeah, it has all of the Half-Life files in here, even the models and stuff like that. So that's literally it for the computer. Now what we can do is disconnect our PSP. We can go back onto it. And I will show you guys how to set this up. Right guys, so once we're back, what we can do is scroll over to our memory card or system storage. And we are going to go and find our game. So it should just be on the root here. I just scroll down, you just gotta find it. I think mine's probably like at the bottom of the list or something by the looks of it. Alright, we found that there it is Half-Life. So it looks just like this. And then all you want to do is just press X and go and load this up. Now I would recommend having custom firmware. I haven't tried it out, but I'm pretty sure you need it. Now once you guys get to this screen, it's pretty simple, but you just want to press the start button. You then should be able to load up Half-Life just like this, and um, you've got single player, multiplayer, configuration, help or quit. We're just going to choose single player, so we're just going to press X on this, new game, and it should actually load up. Now once you press X, it might take a few seconds, it's not frozen or anything, uh, you just got to wait for it to load. So there you go, you're just going to wait maybe like a minute, and now we're in the game. So the controls for this are a bit weird. You use the joystick to kind of look around, and you use triangle to go forward, um, circle and square for left and right, and then you've got X to like move. So yeah, a bit of weird controls, and um, you can actually press select to bring up the console, and press, press select to remove it. Um, I literally don't know what I've done now. I think I've just changed the camera or something. Oh, there you go, I put it back. Maybe it's crouch as well. Um, you can press start, that just brings up the menu. And this is jump, so up on the D-pad. Um, you guys can just figure out the controls, it's fairly simple. But yeah, there you go, you've got Half-Life running. Now, I don't know if you can see the FPS counter, but it's actually on 34, 34 FPS right now. So I think the FPS can go up and down. It's a bit weird. But yeah, it's actually running perfectly fine. I'm playing it without any issues. The sound works, if you're wondering about that. Sometimes the FPS does drop quite a bit. 
um, like more detailed scenes. So maybe like this part, it's actually dropping a bit. But yeah, it's pretty much playable. I would definitely recommend it if you're a Half-Life fan. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. As I said, I've also got a video on this on the PS Vita. It's slightly different, but um, you can play Half-Life as well. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.